Hello again, Toro Q collectors. So a long time ago, I did this video of a Honda set, and it had this smoked Honda City in it. And I gotta say, I kinda like it. It's kinda weird. It makes no sense to have a transparent car, unless you're like Wonder Woman or something. But I still like it, and I put on some Hot Wheels uh, Real Riders on there, although there's painted gunmetal. And it works. But if you look at the image behind, there's a, uh, you know, a bunch of Honda City turbos racing around. Seems to be like a little league back in the day. And it turns out that Choro Q must have loved this as well, so they had put this out. So let's take a look at this guy today. It says, CRT history, which is Choro, Choro Q Racing Team. I guess that's what CRT is. Episode 1. I don't know how many episodes they've created, but this thing is old. It's from 2001, so two decades old. It's got some information here. 1984, I guess that's when this racing thing. Oh, 1985 as well. I'm guessing these are the driver's success rates, maybe? I don't know, I can't read Japanese. But you got this nice presentation going on in there. And then some legalese and not much else. Okay. It looks like it's been open before, which uh, doesn't really bother me. I think it's 20 years old, right? So look at that, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna use this display base, I guess, for other things. Put it on the spinning machine. It's, oh, this thing is, maybe it's new, or I don't know, because it's still taped together here. So that is busted. Let's bust this tape off here. All right, so maybe now I can open it. There we go. Little blisters help out. Yeah, still some tape here. Okay, so now that the blister's gone, these things are just loose. Uh, unfortunately, this thing is just a sticker, it looks like. It's, or no, it's cardboard. You can see it peeling up here. I have to imagine this toy set wasn't very expensive. You know, if it's from 20 years ago, I would guess this thing was probably less than $10 for all of them, but I could be wrong. You know, please leave a comment if you've been collecting a while and you know what this thing originally retailed for. Eh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. Anyways. Okay, so let's see what kind of cars we got in here. Let's start with the white one because I think that's the least colorful. Alright, so it's got number 97. Some sort of Choro Q branding there. Takara is the company making these things. I'm gonna guess that says Choro in Japanese. Uh, there we go. I don't know what Y350 means. I see it on all three of them. Choro Q Racing Team. It's got the Q thing here on the headlight, so that's pretty interesting. Takara again, although that R is all messed up. And then some orange uh, turn signals. Unfortunately, the intakes are totally white. And then here, number 97, CRT City. Okay. Silhouette. Alrighty. Yeah, I guess it is a silhouette racer. Only the greenhouse is the same as a regular uh, Honda City. And then here, CRT City, number 9701. And uh, I, I'm going to guess this plastic is actually white plastic. It's not clear and painted. It looks like it's actually white on the inside surfaces. But the glass looks like it's a separate piece, you know, a separate piece of smoked plastic up there. Alright, yeah, still works. Tires have this little white film, but you can just wipe it off. Alright. Well, you know, this wheel's messed up. The rim is, like, missing plastic. So that's unfortunate. Set this over here. No, this wheel's better. Okay. These are not normal Cherokee wheels. I've seen these wheels on Cherokee Zeros. But this is well before Chero Q Zeros, like 10 years before Chero Q Zeros came out. Okay, so that's an interesting one. Uh, let's go with yellow, because I like that the second least. Seems to be all the same, just uh, the plastic is yellow. Yeah, but this time I guess it's number 98. So I wonder, I'm just looking at the yellow photograph behind, but I don't see any numbers on the cart. No, that says number two on the yellow photograph there. Okay. All the same, really. Just different numbers and colors. 
I would say number 99 is my favorite in this pink color because it's uh, just so bold. And that's the only difference. Alright. Okay, well, let's uh, pull this spin machine out. Put these all up here in different orientations. And we can compare to the Kyosho Honda City. This is a normal, normal Honda City there. And then I also have the Hot Wheels Premium. Although I did take a gold Sharpie to the wheels and uh, I Sharpied those. So the Kyosho, the blue one, you know, it's supposed to be true scale and that's why it looks considerably smaller. But it's also not a city turbo, it's just a normal city so it doesn't have the fender flares. But the orange Hot Wheels is a City Turbo 2, and so it has the flares. And it's actually not that far off from the Choro Q. So the real car is just comical looking, it seems. And then Choro Q just squished it a little bit more to make it more cartoonish. And uh, I know this is actually a real car in real life. I think maybe Hot Wheels may have paid to have it made. And uh, the wheels are actually similar. This Hot Wheels, are, the wheels on this are similar to the real car. Henceforth, the wheels on this Choro Q are similar to the real car. Just not as many spokes, though. Okie dokie. I guess we can uh, get these out of the way. Alright, well, I like the smoked one. But I think I'm liking this pink one the, even better. Because it looks like a real race car now not Wonder Woman's car so I'm gonna keep uh, probably the pink one maybe sell the other two off alright guys thanks for watching see you in the next one